Whoa, what the heck? This feels like it's filled with metal. I don't think this is what... Oh, ho, 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 ho. what was in there, Mr. Mister? Oh, this is good. Oh, yes. That's really good right there. Oh, I didn't even see the wing. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, ooh, did you see that? What's that? It's like disintegrating in my hands. Let's open it. Oh, look at that. A couple more toolboxes back here. That battery totally farted out right there. See that? I made a big old mess. Oh, yeah. Looks like it was buried for a while. It's totally falling apart. Breaker, breaker, nine, four. Do you read me? Do you read me? Over. What is this? Oh, there's the competition when they found out I bought this while they were sleeping. Grr. Previously on Locker Nuts, I bought this locker at midnight on an online auction for around $2,300. It's a big 10 by 25 and I think I caught the competition sleeping on this one. I'm having a blast going through it, finding some real interesting items and even some cash. Let's continue the adventure with more box digging starting now. This looks like a cassette box, but it's not very heavy. Yep, it is. Oh, eight track box. Tony Orlando, Evelyn, Frank Sinatra. Etta James, Rufus. Oh man, look at that. Original movie soundtrack for a Saturday Night Fever. That's gotta be the eight track to have, right? If you're gonna have an eight track, that's probably the one you're gonna want. That's cool, nice little set. Not super, super great titles, but they're not bad either. I just prefer rock titles, personally. I like the box, it's in good condition, just dust it off. Once again, I'm gonna put that aside and we'll go through that a little bit later, I guess. I don't know what we're gonna do. Drop cloth, good for painting. I'm taking that home. That's gonna go in my painting drawer. Don't tell anyone. That's be our little secret, okay? <laughs> I definitely have hoarder tendencies. All right, gourmet grill indoor barbecue. Hmm, that looks good right now. And steak, and bell peppers, mm -hmm. shrimp, scallops. Oh, scallops. I should have eaten before I came to work today. What's wrong with me? Oh man, this is brand new too. Look at that. That's never been used. Oh, 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 oh. That will also not go to Stockton Flea Market. That will not. All right, this, I have to look it up. I don't know what the value is on that, but I think that's something that we would most likely list. Did we already look at this? Yes. Batteries, I wonder if it's for that remote control car right there. It's for one of these cars and there's the charger. I said, let me put this aside and maybe we'll find the charger and find the charger. Ooh. Right, there's some ball bags or something, some kind of bags, D Jack Daniels bag right here. Brand new with tags. Cal Ripken Day. He's Vegas Sport Hydrator? What is that? Plant based? Oh, it's sealed. Okay. Sours Pez. DeWalt. Some safety glasses. That's decent. Oh, that's cool. A little box cutter, but look, you push it, blade comes out. On demand box cutting. <laughs> it's for beers. Sierra Nevada, it's like a beer sweater. Coors, a little uh, key ring, bottle opener. Nice. Jeez, Four Seasons Hotel, that's pretty swanky. Pretty swanky. Some chips and some lotion. Active body care. Made exclusively for the four points by Sheraton. It puts the lotion on the skin. Oh, more, more of these. 121, that's still the same thing. It's not expired. I, I'm, I'm sorry, it is expired. It's just, uh, you know, two and a half months later. The crawl. Okay, next box. Hmm. This is more of those, I uh, found some of these yesterday, CBD infused sparkling water. CBD infused, interesting. He buys them by the little case and you got the little beverage thing. I wonder what, what is that about? I don't know. Interesting though. Okay, a little cooler with refried beans. A whole bunch of them. And energy and focus. Hmm. 
Whoa, what the heck? This feels like it's filled with metal. It's super heavy. Uh, oh, you know what? I don't think this is... I don't think this is what... Oh! <laughs> heck yes! I almost didn't even look at it. I'm like, okay, take it to the flea market. This would have just disappeared at the flea market. It would have most likely gone in someone's pocket. Heck yes! Look at that. Yes! That's so awesome. In a cooler. Put that stuff. Can you believe that? All right. And then uh, this right here. Kind bars. No expiration date that I can find. Which means it is totally safe to eat. So stupid. I don't even know why I say that. Alright. Looks good to me. We'll do a taste test later. Tastes nasty. We'll throw it away. Oh, wow, Nitto, fueled by enthusiasts. It's a nice keychain. What was in here? What was in there, Mr. Mister? That looks very naughty. I do not know what that is, but that's that looks very suspicious. Heavy box, heavy box. It's got books. Another uh, flashlight. We found one of these first day. I think it was brand new with tags. Here's another one. Oh, this one was giant remotes. Yes, red giant universal remote. I've seen these before. We've actually found one before. Not in a box like this. That is a neat, neat piece. It's just a novelty, really, but it's kind of funny. Chuck it. This is part of one of those games. Oh, and there's some more keys right there. What's this? Spin top vehicle. That's cool. It's a little RC vehicle. What? Nah. Uses three AAs. That's cool. Polaris. What's that for? Oh, nice. Some little diecast cars. Pepsi. Grease 2. Got a few VHSs here. Alright. Just gonna go to the flea market. This stuff's not going to go to the flea market, though. These are like catalogs. Catalogs for stuff from 2012. You know, it's like, they're really heavy. And no one's going to buy that. I mean, who would buy that? No one. So this is going to go just straight to recycle. That's good. Deluxe 26-inch rolling duffel bag. And that is brand new. I'd say that's probably tomorrow going to be 8 bucks at the flea market. Oh, this is good. Oh, yes. That's really good right there. Okay, there's a soldering gun, right? Nice one, okay. This right here, look at this. Hmm, I'm almost tempted to keep this. I see a couple bits missing out of there. My set's got more bits than that missing. I've got a very similar one to this hanging on my wall. It's not super big money, but it's worth a few bucks. Great, great kits to have, really. When you're like just trying to hurry and find a bit real quick or find something and you don't have time to go to the drawer, I love it. What is this? Oh, this is neat. Let's look at this. Brand new with the film on it still. Okay, it's like a it's a wheel clock. Eh, okay, whatever. A little different. In fact, it's brand new. I like, but I don't think it's like super expensive. Photo coasters. Keepsake photo box. A few of those, huh? Oh, why so many? <laughs> Why so many of those? This is nice right here too. This thing. Plug that into your car and inflator in it so you can blow things up. Uh, not blow things up, but I mean like inflate your tire. Pressure gauge, he probably used it for like um, basketballs and such maybe perhaps. A little baseball bat right here, miniature. Nope. Empty. It's like the tops to uh, golf club bags and I see two golf club sets back there. I'm gonna put those aside. I might need those. Some buttons in here. I want it all. I'm the best there is, but I'm not available. Uh, we'll add these to a button lot. We have we do button lots every now and then in our auctions where we just sell a whole bunch of buttons. And we'll add that to the next lot. Not big money, but we have button collectors that like to buy from us. So makes it fun, keeps it fun. All right, and another one of these photo frames. So what's the deal with that? Why are there so many? Hmm. I almost feel like I need to open it and see if there's anything inside like I'd just be worried that they put it back with jewelry inside and we have found a jewelry box before like that where it appeared to be new and put away and then we open it and there's jewelry inside 
No, it's a silica gel, but kind of cool. I mean, I like this piece because you could put something in there and just have that sitting up on your dresser and then people would never guess that there's something in there, you know, like a, I don't know, big sack of money or something. All right, next bag here, a box. What, what are these exactly? Oh, they're rubber made totes. They're actually kind of nice. All right, here's a Raiders season ticket holder bag. Pretty good. Raiders duffel full of something. I don't know, that could have been gone in the garbage. We would have allowed that. It would have been fine. <laughs> that could be done. This is a nice uh, cooler bag, I think. Yeah, it's got the cooler stuff in there. That's a nice bag. Yeah, there's the thing. Giant flexible cooler. That's a nice piece right there. We will sell it. Let's see. Oh, this is another cooler bag. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Not good. The bag will sell. More stuff in here. All right. Hmm. All right. There are a lot of trophies in here. Okay. A couple. A couple of footballs. Bronco pump. What's that? Is that something for kegs too? Like for uh, beer making? I bet you that's for a keg. I bet you. I bet you. This. Yeah. For tapping a keg. I think this one as well. Hmm. I guess the guy drank a lot of beer. And here's a bunch of trophies. All right. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put these aside and ask the office if they want those back to try to get back to the owner. He might want those back. Nobody else is going to want them. So they're not old enough to be collectible. What we got here? Brooks and Dunn. <laughs> That's it, huh? All right, next box, bin, whatever, photo coasters. We got more. What the heck? How many of those did the guy own? That is, it's kind of crazy. That makes six right there. Maybe he's going to give them out as gifts to like his kids, like the players that he coached or something. I don't know. A couple towels. There's his uh, fraternity. That's like a brand new hat right there. There's fraternity letters. I wonder if we could put that on eBay. Direct TV. There's a vintage timer. Lux, that's cool. Okay, there's a Makita battery charger right here. This is an, one of the old batteries though, not the newer batteries. That's not gonna really be something I want. We sell it at the flea market. That's gonna be easy, five bucks. Yeah, I don't think that's something we can use. Register rolls, brand new, huge thing of them. I wonder what that might be worth. Hmm. We'll look it up. Gorilla Glue. It is super hard. It's done. It do, gr Gorilla Glue doesn't last all that long. There's a Direct TV remote. Those are worth a few bucks, actually. Ziploc bags. We keep that because we use it in our auctions. I actually just used a whole bunch. When I went home yesterday, after being here, I boxed up everything from our auction. And I used a ton of those Ziplocs for jewelry and stuff. All right, here's a whole bunch more keys right here. We're definitely going to hold on to those. Some batteries here. I don't know how long these have been sitting. Being said, it's towards the front of the locker. I feel like the stuff might be a little bit newer. That's usually how it works. Double A's are great. And the 9 volts are good. Uh, I'll take all those home. All right. Ooh, okay. All right. We got some first aid kits. They look brand new. Yes. That's nice. Got three of those brand new. And I know what these are. Instant chemical cold pack. I know what those are because Jana coach for a while and we have those just in case a kid uh, you know sprains an ankle or something extra large raider shirt raiders that's a nice shirt here is a sanyo dvd player uh it looks like a nice one cinema progressive it actually feels a little heavier too but i don't see blu-ray on here and if it's not blu-ray it's not okay no just kidding it's actually just fine but you'd also want to see an hdmi port on the back without those things that's probably a five dollar bill that's it that's it oh i didn't even see the wii i only saw this and that is a, a motion sensor for the wii i saw this i'm like oh there's a wii oh there's the wii there oh gamecube controller that's actually a little better than the wii the wii's are great Probably our number one system that we find in lockers is the Wii system. Very common system. And we love it. We love playing them. There's Wii Sports. Good. All right. <laughs> That's funny. A couple of sports related uh, movies because the guy was a coach. Yes. Wii games. More Wii games. Oh, yeah, this is really good. 
We'll definitely be selling that Wii system in our auction, but we're going to plug it in first, make sure it works. Uh, there's a circus game. Awesome. Rabbids go home. Uh, but this right here, Super Mario Brothers, that's that's hours and hours of fun right there. The Hiroshima Pilot. That looks like a good book. This is something older. Collier's World Atlas and Gazette Gazetteer. 1940. That's neat, these old maps. Maybe we'll take that to the vintage market, I don't know. All right, and there's the Wii and all the accessories. It's great. Right. Gotta figure out what this stuff is here. This is some old oil. They're open, they're only partially full. There's some tools, and these look decent. Look at the size of these C clamps. They're really, really large. We'll definitely put that in the car. Take that with us. Man, this got some weight to it. This is whey powder, but it's not moving around, so let's just make sure. It's just in case it's like a bunch of cash rolled up in there or something. We found coins in one, right? No, look at that seal, too. Yeah, that's gonna go to the market. Ooh, that is heckin' nasty. Really, really nasty right there. It's gross, it stinks, too. It's so like an oil lantern in there. What's this? Wow, this is an LED lamp that looks like you hooked to a battery. Maybe even a car battery. That looks pretty legit, actually. Get, maybe I can get five bucks for that at the flea market. Whoa, look at this thing. Is that just for, like, grilling or something? Put that over a stove and grill stuff? Like, professional grill? I don't know, but it is, it's heavy. It's a thick plate. There's, I don't know, 12 or 15 bucks, I'd say, right there. At least 10. Oh, yeah, this, uh, the cornhole game. The Raiders. We'll bring that out. And the paper dart board. That we'll bring out too. Oh, that's so cool. That's a really nice piece. Brand new too. Bleach, we'll take that. This doesn't sound very good. Ah, they just threw their whole silverware set in the, in the plastic bag. It's like not the greatest way to store that stuff. Let me transfer that into a cardboard box. Okay. Well, I swear those are the same set that we have at home. Here's a big lid right here. I think I might put that aside because somewhere in here there's probably a pot to match that and I don't want to sell it without the lid. The lid won't sell for much by itself so might as well try to keep it together. World book. Encyclopedia. <laughs> not a good find right here. Encyclopedia books, not a big seller. Judgment time, guys. Do I even take that to the flea market because it's going to end up at the dump? All right, we'll just have to try to donate that or something. Now, these shells right here, they're just plastic. Yeah, this one, oh man, it's got a crack. You can see that one's cracking right there, too. It's just what happens with the plastic shells, but you can always put a piece of plywood on top to uh, shore it up, even screw it up into the plywood, give it a little bit more strength. This one, too, is cracking. Jeez. Cracks are unfortunate. There's no cracks on these. That's got a, I think that's 50 bucks right there. 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Cracks, maybe not. Maybe 20 bucks. But even if it's not 50 bucks, these are at least 40 bucks each. Especially assembled because people don't like to assemble them for some reason. But I got one, two, three that aren't cracked. I say that's at least 125 bucks. And these, I'd say 150 bucks in racks alone. That's pretty good. Okay, now um, I got that one out there. It's cleared out. Let's grab some of this stuff and start bringing it up. I know it's kind of weird to work from the middle. I just don't want to move all this stuff right now. Okay, there's a good square right there. So that's a nice piece. That's a few bucks. And look at this. Yes. Got some nice roller skates. Sure grip. That I say, these are going to go to the vintage market. We'll save that for the vintage market. Those are too cool. I don't know if they sell out there or not. Oh, something just fell out. Travel, travel Scrabble game. I'm going to find that, dang it. Bunch of softballs, screwdriver, jumper cables, very good rope here. And what's this? A couple of trays right here. Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, brand new cups right here. Plastic. I got some more up here. Yeah, this right here is another work light. We already put one of those in the car. Here's another one. Let's get that in there too. I think these will sell. Right. Let's take this. Alright, another cooler. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Did you see that? What's that? First this. 
What is this, guys? Okay. Cuervo? Hmm. Okay, I'll open that in a second. I got some change in here. I don't know if these metrics are worth anything. These protein shakes. Got a penny. <laughs> what? That's, that's definitely for stocking. Here's another one. Okay. Got a couple more taps here. Michelob, those are nice. A little bit more change. Yeah, there's the quarters. Okay, now what's this? Oh, alright. Just an empty Cuervo bottle. I was hoping for something better. Alright, little tool belt. Little carpenter's belt. Full of nails and all. Yep, a whole bunch of nails ready to go. Okay. Next box here. Got a couple more of these taps right here. I'm gonna put these aside. Poof balls. He has like a Nerf. Sweet. Uh, whatever this was. A heart pre uh, blood pressure monitor. Look at this. Like is completely falling apart because it's so old. Raiders win big. I see that right there. Hmm. Raiders super in the Super Bowl 1977. Very nice. Well, actually, I mean, look, it's it's all tore up right here, so it's not actually that nice. But I like I like the news. Rope tightener. Looks like there's meant to be two, and how does that work? I don't know, but I'm gonna put that aside. Sounds like something I could use. 1981 graduation. Let me get that back. Christmas stocking here. Cassettes there, but look what I see right here. Oh man, there's money here, but it's all corroded. How does it get to be so bad? Crusty old watch right there. Gianni. HP calculator, vintage. Oh, that's, that's interesting. Look at that, Bev key. Oops, so opening the bottle, I think. So, keychain. I don't know how these got so corroded. There must be something in here messed up the metal. Maybe the batteries, because the batteries may be something leaking out and causing, you know, the uh, chemical reaction there. But those are pretty grody, but we'll still put them aside. I think I can put them in my little ionic cleaner or whatever it's called. We'll put it in there. Should clean it up. What do we got here? Lover boy, Alice Cooper, talking heads, love that. Stop making sense. Great, great, great. Okay, what's this? Usually poker set. This one's a little big for that. Maybe barbecue set. Yeah, that's what it is. Barbecue set. All right, not bad. Really, I mean, I'd be lucky to get five bucks for that at the flea market. Believe it or not, I'd be lucky to get five bucks. I don't think we're gonna get five bucks. We'll see though. Okay, this thing is a whole set of glasses. You see the pattern on there? That's something a little different. Very old paper in here. That's a pretty pattern. I don't see a name on here. That's a nicked right there. I'm trying to find the date. Give you an idea when this was put away, but it's a little hard to find that on these. It's like disintegrating in my hands. You see that? All right, I'm giving up. It's actually just completely disintegrating in my hands. We'll bring that to the market. But it's a shame to bring it to to Stockton. This is like giving it away. Um, it might be something a little better, but I, I don't like dealing in glassware really. Iowa, yep. These are the go to that bookshelf stereo. We already put that in the car, I'm pretty sure. So I'll go with it. That's good. I'm glad we found that. Sanitizer concentrate. Look at that. It's a huge, huge jug of sanitizer. It shows like a meat slicer there. I thought it was maybe a piece of machinery, but it's sanitizer. I think for delis, like for kitchens. It's industrial level stuff. I'll bring that to the market. I'm pretty sure we'll sell that. All right, what do we got here? More cassettes. Okay, it's good. It's not like great, great titles, but a bunch of them are sealed up. Barber Mandrell, Julio Iglesias. These are sealed brand new. That's brand new too. Look at this. The little push brooms. Looks more for cleaning than for sweeping. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. box there. We'll go through that in a second. Look at these. Very interesting tool. Looks like it does a bunch of different stuff maybe. I don't know. Oakland Raiders, 1989. 
Now there's another tap right there. Make a little dry this time. Another tap, make a little light. Let's see what's in the little box. Pat Benatar. Nice. 1984, some kind of convention. It's a button. There's a drafting compass. A couple of coins. There's a quarter and a dime. And some dice. All right. Oh, penny. Don't get away. Cost me a penny. Oh, this looks neat. Look at that. We got a bullhorn. <laughs> All right. That's pretty neat. Okay, so this is an old one. Solid state megaphone model MV-20S Fanon. It's a heavy duty one. Look at this. We got the got the hand mic right here. Hello. Hmm. So that's the batteries of those. It takes eight C batteries, but it's not all corroded in there. He didn't leave the batteries in. That's the good news. It's heavy duty though, man. Heavy duty. We're, we're gonna have to take that home and test it out. That's not child's play right there. That's the real deal. Fire extinguisher. There's a nice lamp right there. This is good. This will sell. That's a snake for the toilet. Got plenty of problems with that in Stockton, I bet. Uh, what is this? Is this an anchor? No, wait, is it? Or is it for feet? It's for shoes, right? It's for shoes. You put the shoe on there and, and you work in the shoe, the leather and such. Flip it over here for a bigger size. I'm gonna bring that to the vintage market. And some old rope. That's gonna go to the vintage market too. Why not? Why not, I ask you? Look at that. Whoa, what is in there? All kinds of debris. What the heck is that for? Do you guys know what that's for? Is that for something? I mean, it's for something. I say the dumbest things. Yes, I know it's for something, but I mean, like, what is the, what is the use of that? What is the purpose of that? Because that's pretty fancy. Like, is that a vintage market item or is that just a regular flea market item? I don't know. What is this? Wine glasses. Imported from France. Grand Vin. Um, I hesitate to bring that to the market too quickly. I think, well, let's look those up. I don't think they're anything, but let's just look them up just to see. What's this? Oh, it looks like Prince's House. That's definitely what it looks like. It looks like Prince's House, which is decent, but pretty common. April 15th, 1990. So it's packed away 30 years ago. Dang it, magazines. That's not good. Oh, there's a few books too, but sports magazines, a lot of sports illustrated, but some other stuff too. Yeah, maybe I can find somewhere to donate those. Oh, man. Dang it, I was hoping that was in there. <laughs> Empty box. All right, maybe it's still in here, in this locker, but I doubt it. Oh, that's a cool piece. Top shelf here is pretty brittle, but like I said, they could probably put a piece of plywood on there and shore it up, but this guy, I'm taking that to the market tomorrow. I'll get 20 bucks for that. All right, plus that's a perfect thing to go right up on top. Okay, what's in here? This looks like paperwork. Paperwork, paperwork, paper, or some photos. Yeah, photos. All right, that's good. Good to get that back to them. Get that whole box back to them. Oh, look at this Budweiser and Light neon sign. Number 803-126. Oh, that's nice. All right, very nice. Bud Light. We'll definitely bring that home and uh, plug it in and make sure it works. Looks like it's displayed for a while. It's got a little, uh, quite a bit of dust and stuff around the corners. We'll use that, like I was saying, that paintbrush method and just brush out all the dust. Get it cleaned up, test it. That works. I think that might be a couple hundred bucks right there. I really do. Only time I've ever found a uh, neon sign before, and all the times we've been doing this, was that um, Route 66 sign that we found, and that was broken. This one is not broken. All right, I was trying to clear this out so I could get back here. I want to take those tools to the market with me tomorrow, and the trash can too. Oh, nice. This golf club set, this is for little kids, and it's ping. I want to teach the girls. Well, actually, Grace is taller than me, so she won't need a little set anymore, but Camille might need a little bit shorter set. I have one set aside for them, but just never taking them. We got a brand new push broom. We got a fence post digger right here. We got one of those stompers right here for packing dirt down. A couple good shovels, pitchfork. How much is that at the flea market? I think that we've got to have at least 60 to $75 right here between the can and all these tools. It's popping apart and I don't want it to pop apart. It's hoping to pop. Yeah, that might not work. I want to just be able to pull it out and set it up because I think it'll sell first thing in the morning. It's a little brittle, I think, from being in storage. 
That'll be fine. Oh, the bottom's coming apart. Okay. Well, might not get <laughs> might not get full price with the the can. I didn't see that. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna hurt the value a bit, but oh well. I love having the tall van because you can just put stuff in like that. Boom, done. Ooh, yes. Made a dent, made a dent. Oh, look at that. Couple more toolboxes back here. Oh, this is all tools here. I see tools. I see a shop back back there. What's in here? This is, looks like a chainsaw box right here. Yeah, we'll get through that later. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. I kind of like to take them front to back. We're skipping around a little bit just because we're looking for the big load here. Trying to get enough of the flea market. Maybe I'll grab some more of those tools though. The tools do really, really well. Spalding. Nothing too crazy nice here. Tour specs, huh? Hardened steel. I don't know. There's no putter in there. It's not a chainsaw. It's one of these. Hedger. Craftsman. Bushwhacker is what it's called. Dual action. All right. That's cool. That'll sell for sure. One more tools. Mallet. Some packing tape. That's good. Keep that. Zip ties. Stapler. Ooh, there's some nice Velcro. Look how fat that Velcro is. And this is real Velcro. I can actually say Velcro. And not worry about copyright infringement. Plastic dip. This is good stuff. You ever seen that before? You spray it on. It's like it gives a coating of plastic on something. I seem to find those quite a bit. Spray adhesive. It's like a briefcase that they use for tools. Makeshift tool bag. Okay, whatever works for you. Yeah, this is a bowling ball. I'm almost 100%. I'd say I'm like 98.5% sure. Yep, that's what it is. What's this? Ansco Vision Dual Automatic. Oh, is this a real reel? Clear? Is that what this is? Or is it a projector? Ansco Vision. So you'd think it would be a projector. But where's the actual projector part? I don't know, guys. I don't know. It definitely looks like a projector. Uh, there's got to be a way to get the other side off. I'm not going to spend too much time on it right now just because we're loading for the market. And away I must go. Put that aside for the vintage market, maybe. i got to look it up and see if it really warrants that or not. A couple tools. Yeah, here's another one of those tie-down things, those rope ties. All this stuff I think is for fences. You bang that in and then you put the cross beam right here. I think it's for fences, maybe it's for, I don't know. Maybe it's for roofing. Vice grip, look at that thing. Never seen one in that shape either. Huge shears for cutting metal. Nice hammer. Ratchet. Some chain and stuff, but nothing. Oh, there's some socket. Taiwan. Yeah, Taiwan. So that'll go to the market. Mm. Nice tape measure. Sears socket wrench set. Okay, that's a little better. Sears. Same as Craftsman. And the stapler. Just more good good tools. All good sellers. More good flea market stuff. Not too oh it's broken right there too. It's too bad. Is this for a water purifier, I think. This is a filter. Are these the cartridges? No, this is something different. This is for pool sticks right here. Mount that to the wall. That's what you set the pool stick the base on and then you clip that in so you just mount those right to the wall. That's pretty cool. Alright. Yes, another one. Hmm. More metal shears there and a very nice hatchet. And man. We got some sockets and stuff in here, but this is hecka greasy. I should be wearing gloves right now. That's a craftsman right here. That's a craftsman. Man, a lot of old stuff in here, but I'm just gonna bring all that to the flea market. <laughs> Getting a little dirty today. Just a wee bit. I got a rag right here. Probably need to wash up a little bit. Another bucket of tools right here. Yeah, pretty decent stuff in here. Old stuff. I don't even know what that's for right there, but it looks like the type of stuff that will sell. 
It does look like, oh, there's SK right there. That's decent. That's good. I don't want to forget this guy right here. Oh, man, that's heavy. Oh, perfect right there. Perfect. Oh, okay, there's a big polisher. And it's got sandpaper attachments. So, that's, oh, a little sander too. Nice. It'd be good. It's got to go. Pool table, jukebox, piano, dresser, for sale. Oh, huh, okay. And this one, I didn't notice before, it's got a big crack in it. Canada versus Russia, 1972. That's too bad, too. It's got a big crack there, and I did not do that, guys. I know I know, you, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. I can read your mind. Oh, it's you or will fault, Jack. You didn't do this right, or that, or the other thing. And I said, no, it was not me. Not this time, anyways. I break plenty of stuff. I break plenty of stuff. What's this? That's an old toy right there. Merry Christmas. Oh, look at the battery though. That battery totally farted out right there. See that? You got a big old mess. Oh yes, that's why you take your batteries out, guys. That's why, right there. But you know what? I don't know. It could be probably be cleaned up still. Does this have some value? It definitely has some vintage. Young low toy. Huh, that's neat. I'm gonna put it aside. I'm gonna put it aside. We'll take that to the vintage market, perhaps. Oh, there's an old Raiders hat. Put that aside too. Yeah, that's cool. Old horseshoe. Looks like it was buried for a while. It's totally falling apart. Dab beer. An old pint glass. Yeah, look at this. Cobra 21 GTL. An old CB radio. Breaker, breaker, 9-4. Do you read me? Do you read me? Over. Breaker, breaker, 9-4. I repeat. Do you read me? Over. A couple of fire extinguishers here. Empty. I'm getting tired, guys. I've been here for quite a few hours now. I want to get home and uh, edit some video for you guys. Uh, trying to speed things up here a little bit. What is this? Oh, okay. Let's look at that. I was just grabbing this barbecue set because that's another good flea market piece. Oh, look at that. Old roller skates, old ones. The leather still feels kind of soft though. Chicago, and this is Chicago Roller Skate Company, made in the USA. Yes, the leather actually feels kind of nice. It's not brittle. Love the box. All right, that's a vintage market item right there. Oh show, oh show. Oh, what about this guy right here? This big red bulldog. It's, uh, he's really light. You know, the better ones you could tell because they're a little heavier. They got the better filling inside, but he looks clean. He looks mad. <laughs> Is that my thumbnail right there? There's the competition when they found out I bought this while they were sleeping. Grrr. There's another brand new duffel bag right here. Duffel bags for some reason do sell out there pretty well. So I'll take this out there. I'm gonna try to get 10 bucks for that. Cause we had the other one too. 10 bucks each. Starts to add up and there's another one here too. Let's grab it. Starting to get it full. Starting to fill up. I like it. It's a weird load. It's just not very flat and level or anything. But it's getting full. That's what matters. Alright, let's see what this is right here. Oh. I see photos. Looks like photos. A mixture of pictures and it says Plunkett. 1981. Okay, wait, this this might be something we need to keep here. That's the Super Bowl 1981 button. This is all Jim Plunkett stuff. Little ribbon. There's an old bumper sticker right here. Oakland Raiders. World Champions. Yeah, look at that. An old ticket for the Rams versus the Raiders. 1976. I see the Raiders right there. It looks like a window decal. A few of them. Boosters Club from 1977. This is a neat little envelope right here. We're going to put that stuff aside. Yeah, we're not returning that. That's got some value on this stuff. That's not personal. That is actually football collectible. 1985-86 San Francisco 49ers uh, calendar. Here's some postcards right here. This is a large postcard. New Orleans and a couple smaller ones. Look at that. That's total 80s. New Orleans. Nice. Pleasanton, 1974. Nice. Alright, we got another little cooler. And this... Look at that, 1988. Chair with the cooler bag built in. Hmm, this bud's for you. What 
the heck is this? These are, oh, I know what these are. These are to put your garbage cans on top of, uh, I have one. I have one in our garage with my garbage can on top. It's one of the fa my favorite things I've ever found in a storage locker, which is kind of silly, but just having your garbage can on wheels and just being able to move it around. If you're carrying heavy stuff and the garbage can's in the way, you just kick your garbage can. It sounds silly and trivial, but since finding mine, which was already mounted on the wheels, it really did, uh, open my eyes to how nice having that is that's cool all right so we got two of them i'm not selling that guys i'm not selling that i need two more garbage cans this is brand new okay let's see what's in here because it looks big and light and that's something i could bring to the market okay this is some padded shorts what is that for padded shorts vector pf8 mm. oh oh <laughs> okay this is cool look at this Need some roller blades, so that's for hockey, I think. For hockey, Vector Exo Scale 4.0. This, those are pretty sweet. They don't really look like they've been used very much. All right, there's the tag. Okay, designed in Canada. I wonder if those are worth something. Wow, look at this. Oh my goodness, look at that. It looks brand new. Shield's not all scuffed up like you'd expect. Mission iTech. That's pretty cool. All right, that's gonna have. That might have some value. This set. Look at this. More armor. For your shins this is for the goalie or something that's pretty dope high tech all right i'm not bringing that to the market i gotta look it up i don't mind taking my time on stuff look it up a little bit here's the jersey freezer burn all right guys i'm getting a little tired and like i said i want to get home and edit for you guys i don't think this is a thousand dollar flea market day but i think that this is at least a 500 dollar flea market day especially with the tools so yeah not bad let's wrap this thing all right well that was, I don't even know how many hours I was here. I got through a lot of it, a lot of it. And I don't want to get through too much because I, I don't know, at this rate, we're only going to have like two or three more videos out of this. Let me wrap this up, get to the flea market tomorrow, see how much I can sell. And I think after the market, I'll come back here and do more digging. Yeah, tomorrow's day three. I have three days to clear this out. <laughs> it ain't happening. So I'm going to go rent it. They're fairly certain that they're going to give me first month free. So I would appreciate that because a lot of this stuff I can tell already is going to go to the vintage market. And I prefer to keep it here. The vintage market happens in like, well, within a month. I think a little over three weeks from now. So it'd be nice just to come straight here and load that stuff up and then go over to my unit and load the rest. Uh, I'm really excited about the vintage market. I am. And I'm excited that we found a few more pieces here that will top off our booth. All right. Well, I'm going to do my best of film tomorrow so you guys can see how the flea market day goes i can't guarantee anything because it's just sometimes it's really hard there there's guys that play music at their booths very loud so i can't really film i'll get a copyright strike on uh, youtube i don't want to risk that but i'll see what i can do hopefully i'll get you some action we'll see you tomorrow all right but until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on locker nuts How about um, how about twelve bucks? And with this, how about um, sixteen? Fifteen. Fifteen. That's fine. Yeah. yeah.